This is episode 29 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. And then sometimes big things like Instagram stories comes up and people want to know, what is the impact of Instagram stories? So for those of you that are living under a rock, I guess, Instagram a couple days ago launched Instagram stories, which is basically Snapchat for Instagram. Big deal. Big deal for Snapchat, big deal for Instagram. Is Snapchat dead? Is Instagram pulling its strings? What's what's going to be like the real big impact with it? So in a global sense, the only people that really count for how this is going to impact anything are the Instagrammers and the Snapchatters. It's pretty obvious that Instagram made this move because the last seven, eight months, Snapchat has just ex- absolutely exploded. It's gone from popular, you know, millions of users and stuff to being like, to being on the forefront of the social media apps. It's up, it's up there with the Instagrams and the Twitters and the Facebooks. It's, it's huge. So Instagram is obviously trying to react to that because I'm sure, I'm, over the last few months, numbers probably dropped. Over the last few months, numbers are dropping. The interaction's not as high. There's tons of, of connecting and interaction on Snapchat, more direct, more responsive. Instagram had to do something. So they did Snapchat stories. Is it copying? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell. You're not going to be able to know until they roll out whatever's new. At this point, it's really just like a video chat kind of a thing. It's it's similar to Snapchat, but there's so many more aspects of the Snapchat story and everything that it's it's really hard to tell. They could copy them and they have every right to copy them. If, if they feel that adding the different filters like Snapchat has to, you know, more interaction and stuff, if they feel that that's going to, you know, kind of give them the leverage and they have the ability to do it, they'll probably do it and more power to them because it's not like Snapchat doesn't know that they're coming for them. This was a huge hey, we're here, we're not going anywhere, direct, direct attack to Snapchat. And, and it's, it's kind of hold on the social media market right now. And because they know Snapchat knows that, really, it's the, the best man wins, you know? The market's going to decide who is, who's got it and who doesn't. One thing that Instagram has with adding this cool feature that's obviously extremely popular is they have a huge base they have a huge foundation. So I think the best thing that Instagram did by doing this was maybe not necessarily drawing people to one or the other, but what they did is they kind of plugged the hole for their users that are looking to do Snapchat because all those people that haven't done it yet and haven't done it yet, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, isn't this just the thing where people show their wieners and show their boobies and stuff and then the thing disappears? I don't see the benefit of it, da, 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 da. But they keep hearing about it and hearing about it. And you know, the more you hear about something, the more you're going to want to try and do it. And, and you're going to try it out and see it. And once people do it and, and they get, learn how to use it, they're going to love it. But what this did is just plug that hole. Like, uh, what's his name? Frederick from uh, Million Dollar Listings New York. Like he said, I don't have to go to Snapchat anymore. So now all the people that are pushing hardcore to go to Snapchat... From Insta- that are using Instagram and are already very comfortable with Instagram, already have a tons of followers and all that stuff, now they don't have to go. You still got millions and millions of people using, using Snapchat and going nuts on Snapchat. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's only going to get better and develop more. But now you kind of slowed that, that flow out of the Instagram users into the Snapchat because now it's direct. The one thing that Instagram was not good at was being personal. Twitter can get can get really personal. It has the ability to 
there's a lot of fluff, of course, just like anything, but it has the ability to get personal. Snapchat's extremely personal, and now Instagram is very personal. And you already have that big base that wasn't, you know, maybe it's a little bit older group that's not looking to do Snapchat, that they were maybe a little intimidated by Snapchat, learning a new platform, all that stuff. Now they don't have to. Now they can just stay on Instagram, and this is going to develop. The stories are going to develop more and more and more, and it's going to get better and better, and more and more people are going to use them. And I think it really what it did is it just kind of locked in the Instagram users as opposed to people having to decide which is which because people are still going to do both. The people that are doing both are still going to do both because you already have a fan base on Instagram because it's older. There's a lot more interaction and it's new and fun because of Snapchat. Snapchat's going to develop differently than Instagram. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But it was a really slick move by Instagram to just go for it. So one thing that I've noticed just so far, the couple days that I've been doing well, the couple of days that it's even been available is as far as the personal aspects of the stories, there are people that I've followed that are photographers or, or, you know, they own a business and this and that, and you never really got a sense of who they were. You know, they have a couple selfies. They have a couple of, uh, they have, you know, they'll have beautiful pictures on it or they'll have cool quotes and all this stuff but you never but there's some people you just never really got a sense of like who they were like the personality and now you get to see exactly who they are you get to see their faces you get to see uh you get to listen to how they talk you know if they have accents if they don't have accents the different things that there's that they're experiencing from day to day i think that that's it's it totally it just it like night and day as far as the personalities of what Instagram was and what it is now. There are people who I didn't even know that they were a girl and they're a girl and they're doing, they're showing all this cool stuff about what they're doing that day. And then they have on top of that, they have all their cool photos or they, you know, they had this business and all you saw was business stuff and quotes and, and motivational quotes and all that stuff. And then, and now you're getting like a one-on-one thing. There are people that I thought were pretty cool. They had cool pictures and they, they take too many freaking videos of themselves. And it's just, when you get caught on their thing, it's like 700 videos. It's like nonstop. And I get the idea of it because obviously the more videos you do, the more, the more you're going to be pushed up in that line, you know, the screen, you know, you're, you're scrolling across the top, the more they're going to be in the forefront of it. But man, there's people that are just talking about a whole lot of nothing and it's pretty bad, but people are going to figure it out. And I think it's going to really separate the types of Instagram users, like the people that are, people will still like the quotes and you still, you know, still do all that thing. But I think the personal connection of it, it's going to separate those people. Really, it's going to separate the people that were on Snapchat and learned how to do this. And now they're going to take what they learned on Snapchat and bring it back to Instagram and then make the Instagram stuff really strong. I think that's going to be the big thing. So you're going to have Snapchatters that are going to take their Snapchat skills and bring them back or the the vines, the viners, viners, vinters, I don't know what you call them. I'm going to take those skills and now they can bring them to Instagram. And like I said, Instagram has a huge base. It's like Facebook kind of doing what Twitter was doing with taking Periscope and adding Periscope basically to Facebook and doing Facebook Live. It kind of changes everything because you already have, you know, 10 years of fan buildup and connection on Facebook. And now you can talk directly to them. It changes everything. It's, it's, it was a really slick move. And I'm sure Snapchat probably didn't love yesterday or the other day when it came up. And I'm sure they're going to scramble to figure stuff out, but they've already made such huge developments and had such huge strides these last nine months. I don't think it's going to be an issue. So it's not going to be an either or thing, but I do think that Instagram really slowed down the exodus from Instagram to Snapchat because it used to be, oh, Instagram's the pictures over here and Snapchat's where I really connect over here. And now you can really connect. So that's, it's a game changer. It's definitely, definitely a big deal. Not the end of Snapchat may not necessarily be the saving grace for Instagram, but man, it sure, it changes a whole lot. So well done. Instagram. Well done, Snapchat. For those of you guys that follow me on Snapchat, my favorite little character is the bee. I'm dubbing mine the angry bee. And as cool as the Instagram stuff is, it's it's much more interactive for me. 
watching other people, but it's really fun to have a little B voice and say mean things and be funny with the characters in between um, the different filters. That's that's kind of my favorite part of Snapchat. And until Instagram gets that, I'll do it, but it's still not as fun as Snapchat. So I would love to hear what you guys think about it. Hit me up on, on uh, Instagram. Hit me up on Snapchat and let me know like what you think. Let me. I would love to see your stories and how you guys are approaching it because some people do some really cool stuff. If you guys don't follow Gary V, Gary V does a very good job of snapping and storytelling. Instagram, what are they calling it? Storying, Instagramming. I don't know what they're going to call it, but he does a really good job of uploading like native videos to instagram which makes everybody else's look bad and irritates me because i'm still trying to figure out how to do that but it looks fantastic so if you don't follow gary v check him out he's definitely worth looking into if you want to look how to step up your game but i'd love to see how your stories are going love to see what you guys are talking about how you guys are utilizing it hit me up instagram snapchat twitter let's connect if you guys have any questions um i'm always taking questions i've been doing a lot of the back and forth directly on snapchat now we can do it on Instagram. It's so much better. Um, but find your way to connect with me. Connect with me. The questions don't necessarily have to come across on this platform. It can just be one-on-one, depending on what you're dealing with. If you're doing something, if it's, you're going through something big and you got to get through it, you don't have anybody to ask, I'm right here. If you're enjoying this podcast and vlog and stuff, please share it with your friends. Please uh, subscribe to it. And I will see you guys soon. And she was like, hmm? And he was like, nah. and we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Just ask Joey. Just ask Joey.